What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, dude. iOS 13 finally came out and guess what? We're going to do so many reviews on this thing. We're going to look at it front and back. So I was supposed to upload these yesterday, but I had to do a developer profile and all that stuff on my MacBook that had to be up to whatever you guys don't care. We're going to take a look at iOS 13, the beta on the iPhone SE. This is the first device I actually installed it on. And there are a couple things within iOS 13 that don't really like go for the iPhone SE specifically. Some of those things like Face ID getting 30% faster and a couple other things. So those things aren't really like proposed to this. But surprisingly, a lot of the features within iOS 13 actually came to the iPhone SE. At first, we were thinking it wasn't going to be because of the screen size, all that stuff. But luckily, it did get it. And it got pretty much all those specific features within iOS 13. Now, now one of the main things, as you know, is probably it's dark mode. Um, all the system apps are actually dark. And for the iPhone SE, that is also the case for all the phones that have IPS panels that is fully taken care of. So nothing to worry about there. There's actually a super cool thing now actually within the keyboard. And we now have swipe capability for the keyboard as you can see okay that first keyboard didn't work but as you can see as I'm swiping you can actually see a little bit of difference you know I was using Gboard all the time and this is actually just makes it that much better I'm curious to see how this compares to Gboard it's probably going to be almost the same maybe Gboard's is better because they've been in the game longer but I'm so happy with this and I'll probably end up keeping this instead of Gboard honestly the reminders app also got a pretty big update as well as you can see it looks quite different from what we had before is it amazing is it this or that I'll have to test it out further but you know what I use reminders app all the time not all the time but sometimes I use the counter app way more but at least it has a little bit of difference right there and that's a pretty big upgrade too that's actually one of the first leaks we saw of iOS 13 like one of the main ones was the newly reminders app so that's pretty cool within iOS 13 there was also a pretty big hit on privacy they really wanted to upgrade the privacy and, and pretty much just make iOS more secure and they did that a couple different ways and I'm really happy that they really focused in on that so that's awesome Another thing with an iMessage, I, I don't know, like I, I made a video about this because I heard a leak they were doing it and they actually ended up doing it. It's pretty much like creating your own iMessage profiles in a way with your own an emoji and all that stuff. So then you can actually go and like create a profile. So when you're texting people, it's not just a number. It's actually like your profile that's being sent. So me personally, I don't really like that. That's making like iMessage more of like a social media type of thing. I, it could just be me, I don't know, but I kind of like keeping those two things separate, but um, maybe 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 I'm in the minority. Another huge difference is actually within photos. So now, as you can see, if you hop out of the photos, you'll see a couple different tiles right here. So we have all photos. We also have day, and what this does is that it just takes away a lot of the duplicated photos and everything, and it kind of breaks things day by day, as you can see. I really don't even have that many photos when you do the day by day thing, but you have a couple different things two years, but I like looking at all photos. And another cool thing within this one is that you can actually zoom in and zoom out of the photos and you can get a, like a bigger view of those photos, which is so cool. I'm really glad they did this. I've seen this on a couple of Android galleries back in the day, but it's so cool that it's being brought into this thing as well. The photo editor also got a little bit of an upgrade as well. As you can see, it looks quite a bit different. Also, when you take a screenshot, that panel is also a little bit different as well. We have a couple, you have actually more options here. It's still keeping the same ones like exposure and this and that but this one is just a little bit better in that case and I love that so much. You can also rotate videos now within iOS too so you don't have to port that over to a different thing so that's so cool. And one of the coolest ones and I was honestly not even expecting this, they didn't even make it a big deal but within the control center not only can you get into it all that stuff it's still the same but if you force touch or 3D touch or hold on the Wi-Fi toggle you can actually change the Wi-Fi there so you can click on different things if you want to. That same thing is also with Bluetooth right there. So you can go and like connect to other Bluetooth devices and all that good stuff. And that is so cool. Also with AirDrop, that same thing happens if you just click on it. But that is really, really cool in and of itself. And those are some of the main features I wanted to hit on. Obviously there is way more, but if I wanted to talk about them, but I'm going to make way more videos talking about those things. I just wanted to tell you that on the iPhone SE, it is very, very smooth. When I'm opening apps, when I'm going into things, I can definitely see like it doesn't feel glitchy at all. Of course, there's going to be tons of bugs with it. It's going to be a lot of problems, but as it stands right now, I think it's pretty decent. And you guys probably already saw it, but on iOS 12.3.1, on a multi-core score of 151,978, and I just re-ran it, and you guys, like I said, already saw it, it is 154,942 on iOS 13, so thankfully, we didn't get that big of a hit. It's pretty much the same exact thing. And man, what I'll tell you all in all is that if Apple just focuses in now on the stability of this update, they can have such a crazy feature-rich OS update because this thing brought all the features. Now they just need to focus on the stability 
And if they can do that, they will have such a grand slam on their hands. But that's as it stands right now. I like iOS 13 a lot. If I find out more things, obviously I'm going to be making way more videos on it and I'll be testing on all the iPhones that are supported. So if you guys have any questions or you want to me to review a specific thing, leave it down in the comment section below. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section as well. Hit that like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.